In this question, we're given several intervals and asked to determine if the given values are in the interval. We're going to solve this graphically by graphing each interval, then determining whether the values are in the interval or not. So the first interval is x is greater than or equal to negative one. Notice here, because of the equal part, negative one is in the interval. So if we're using points, we'd make a closed point on negative one, and then because x is greater than or equal to negative one, we graph the interval to the right approaching positive infinity. Now sometimes instead of using open and closed points, some course materials use rounded parentheses or square brackets. Because we have a closed point, we use a square bracket, again indicating that that point is included in the interval, and then we graph to the right. Two ways to express the same interval. And now let's locate our values. We have x equals zero, which would be here, which is in the interval, so we check it. x equals negative one is here. Because the endpoint is included because of the closed point or the square bracket, negative one is in the interval, so that's yes. x equals negative four is here, and not in the interval, so we don't check it. x equals seven is here, which is in the interval, so we check x equals seven. x equals nine, notice is also in the interval. And then finally we have x equals negative five fourths, which would be negative 1.25, that would be here, which is not in the interval, so we don't check x equals negative five fourths. Notice for the next three intervals, the values stay the same, but the intervals change. So we'll leave our points plotted, and we'll just sketch the new interval. The next interval is from negative one to nine. We say the interval is open on negative one because negative one is not in the interval, and closed on nine because nine is in the interval. So using points, we would have an open point on negative one, a closed point on positive nine, and graph between the values. Using parentheses and brackets, we'd have a rounded parenthesis here at negative one, a square bracket here on nine, and a graph between the two values. So now we'll go through the values. X equals zero here is in the interval. X equals negative one now is not in the interval because the endpoint of negative one is not in the interval. X equals negative four is not in the interval. X equals seven is. X equals nine is because the endpoint is included. And X equals negative five fourths is not in the interval. It's to the left of negative one. The next interval is X is greater than negative four and less than or equal to seven. Negative four is not on the interval, so the interval is open on negative four. Seven is in the interval, so the interval is closed on positive seven. So using points, we'd have an open point at negative four, a closed point at seven, and we graph between the values. Using parentheses and brackets, we'd have a rounded parenthesis here at negative four, a square bracket here at seven, and we graph between the two values x equals zero is in the interval, x equals negative one is in the interval, x equals negative four is not in the interval because the endpoint is not included, x equals seven is in the interval because the right endpoint is included, x equals nine is not in the interval, and x equals negative five fourths is in the interval. And for our last example, we have the interval from negative infinity to seven because of the rounded parenthesis here, seven is not included in the interval. So using points, we'd have an open point on positive seven, and then we graph to the left approaching negative infinity. So because seven is not included, we could also graph this using a rounded parenthesis and graph to the left. X equals zero is in the interval x equals negative one is in the interval, x equals negative four is in the interval, x equals seven is not in the interval because this endpoint is not included, x equals nine is not in the interval, and x equals negative five fourths is in the interval. Okay, that's gonna do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.